Hello and welcome to Rupe Travel Tales. My name is Veer Sangvi and I'm here to talk about a city I really love, Calcutta or Kolkata as we should now call it. This used to be the colonial capital of the British Empire and it's not quite as grand as that suggests, but it's got something that's much more important. It's got warmth and friendliness. The food in Calcutta is of course amazing. Bengali food is one of the great cuisines of India, but there's much more to it than just the Bengali food you're familiar with. Calcutta is the home of the Nizam's roll, the egg kati roll, which is now spread all over India. Calcutta biryani, which traces its origins perhaps to Avad, is a category by itself. It's superlative and you won't get it anywhere else. And then of course there are the sweets. Think of any Indian sweet. Rasgulla, Gulab Jamun, Shandesh, Ras Malai, Mishti Doi. They were all invented in Calcutta. The places to see in Calcutta are places which reflect its historical origins. There are unusual places you've never heard of, perhaps like the Marble Palace, which I think you must see. But there are places that symbolize Calcutta. The Victoria Memorial is possibly the grandest example of European architecture in all of India. And when you see it, it'll take your breath away. And then there's the Howrah Bridge, which is iconic. There's the Kali Ghat Temple. It's hard to recommend one thing to buy in Calcutta. In fact, most people when they come back from Calcutta, and you can see this if you're on a flight, but there's more to Calcutta than just that. Go there for the fabric, buy the saris, the dhakais, and all of those saris. They're astonishing prints, they're astonishing weaves, and they're traditions that have been passed on through the generations within families. Anything else that's vaguely artistic in Calcutta is always worth buying because after all, Bengalis are the artists of India. People will tell you to go to Calcutta in December and perhaps January and they're right. That's when the weather in Calcutta is at its nicest. But I have a suggestion, of course, you can go in the winter and enjoy the weather, but try and go during Durga Puja. I have never seen a city go quite as crazy with devotion as Calcutta does. I hope all of this has induced you to go to Calcutta. It's really an amazing city and you will have the greatest adventures and the most wonderful experiences. Tweet to us here about those experiences and hashtag it Rupe Travel Tales.